An Epistle to His Excellency John, Lord Carteret by Dr. Delany. By Jonathan Swift 1729, 1, verses written during Lord Carteret's administration of Ireland. Credis ob h me, pastor, opes fortas regere, propter quae vulgus crassac turba rogat, mart, epic, lib. x, 22, thou wise and learned ruler of our isle, whose guardian care can all her griefs. Beguile. When next your generous soul shall condescend tea, instruct or entertain your humble friend. Whether, retiring from your weighty charge, on some high theme you learnedly enlarge. Of all the ways of wisdom reason well, how Richelieu rose, and how Sejanus fell, or, when your brow less thoughtfully unbends, circled with swift and some delighted. Friends. When, mixing mirth and wisdom with your wine, like that your wit shall flow, your genius shine, nor with less praise the conversation guide, than in the public councils you decide, or when the dean, long privileged to rail, asserts his friend with more impetuous seal, you hear, whilst I sit by abashed and mute, with soft concessions, shortening the dispute, then close with kind inquiries of my state, how are your tithes, and have they rose of late? Why, Christ Church is a pretty situation, there are not many better in the nation. This, with your other things, must yield you clear some six, at least five hundred pounds a year. Suppose, at such a time, I took the freedom to speak these truths as plainly as you read them, you shall rejoin, my lord, when I've replied, and, if you please, my lady shall decide. My lord, I'm satisfied you meant me well, and that I'm thankful, all the world can tell, but you'll forgive me, if I own the event is short, is very short, of your intent. At least, I feel some ills unfelt. Before, my income less, and my expenses more. How, doctor, double vicar, double rector, a dignitary, with a city lecture, what glebes, what dues, what tithes, what fines, what rent? Why, doctor, will you never be content? Would my good lord but cast up the account, and see to what my revenues amount? Two. My title's ample, but my gain so. Small, that one good vicarage is worth them all, and very wretched, sure, is he that's double in nothing but his titles in his trouble. And to this crying grievance, if you please, my horses foundered on Fermanagh ways, ways of well-polished and well-pointed stone, where every step endangers every bone, and, more to raise your pity and your wonder, two churches, twelve Hibernian miles asunder, with complicated cures, I labor hard in, beside whole summers absent from, my garden. But that the world would think I played the fool, I'd change with Charlie Grattan for his school. Three. What fine cascades, what vistos, might I make, fixed in the center of th, Iernian lake? There might I sail, delighted, smooth and safe, beneath the conduct of my good Sir Ralph, for there's not a better steerer in the realm. I hope, my lord, you'll call him to the helm. Doctor, a glorious scheme to ease your grief. When cures are cross, a school's a sure relief. You cannot fail of being happy there, the lake will be the lethe of your care. The Scheme is for your honor and your ease. And, doctor, I'll promote it when you please. Meanwhile, allowing things below your merit, yet, doctor, you've a philosophic spirit. Your wants are few, and, like your income, small, and you've enough to gratify them all. You've trees, and fruits, and roots, enough in store. And what would a philosopher have? More? You cannot wish for coaches, kitchens, cooks, my lord. I've not enough to buy me books, or pray. Suppose my wants were all supplied, are there no wants I should regard beside? Whose breast is so unmanned, as not to grieve, compassed with miseries he can't relieve? Who can be happy? Who should wish to live, and want the godlike? Happiness to give? That I'm a judge of this, you must allow. I had it once, and I'm debared it now. Ask your own heart, my lord. If this be true, then how unblessed am I? How blessed are you? Tis true. But, doctor, let us waive all that. Say, if you had your wish, what you'd be at. Excuse me, good my lord, I won't be sounded, nor shall. Your favor by my wants be bounded. My lord, I challenge nothing as my due, nor is it fit I should prescribe to you. Yet this might Symmachus himself avow, whose rigid rules, five, are antiquated now, my lord. I'd wish to pay the debts I owe, I'd wish besides, to build and to bestow.